Hi, I'm Vivacha Max Victor, and over the last seven years, I've done over 4,000 coaching calls on self-confidence. I live for this topic. I love this topic. Ultimately, self-confidence is about the relationship that you have with yourself. The only barrier between you and your self-confidence is your unresolved inner conflict. And that's where I come in. I'm like a fitness instructor for your self-confidence. People come to me with all kinds of unresolved issues and I help them iron it out so that your natural power and your natural can just burst right through. And if your mind and your heart are having a pissing contest, you're gonna feel royally screwed up until you get your heart and your mind back into alignment because that's where they're supposed to be. So self-confidence is about the relationship that you have with yourself, the relationship that you have with your truth. Do you remember the story of Hansel and Gretel, how they followed the breadcrumbs to find their way back home? Similarly, if you wanna find your way to self-confidence, the trail that you need to follow, the breadcrumbs, are the breadcrumbs of truth. Self-confidence can also be called truth confidence. I waste a decade of my life due to unresolved inner conflict. I tried to dance around the truth and be happy and fulfilled and it didn't work. Untruth and self-confidence are like oil and water. They never mix. There's a quote that says, the truth will set you free, but it will piss you off first. I believe that quote is very accurate when it comes to coaching. Oftentimes clients get really frustrated with sharing their truth and finally coming to terms with accepting and honoring and living from their place of truth. If your truth is at a level two, your self-confidence is going to be at a level two. There's so many people who want to multiply their self-confidence and go to all sorts of self-confidence seminars, but they're not willing to amplify your truth. If you want to fortify your self-confidence, you must be willing to amplify your truth so that you can live from a place of truth and power. Many of us are conditioned to be truthful with others, but we're not truthful with ourselves. I have learned firsthand that self-deception leads to self-destruction. Years ago, I fell in love with this older man. Yes, I have daddy issues. Obviously, we already know that. Anyway, I fell in love with this man and I was so madly in love with him. And I know you personal development junkies out there have done exactly what I did. And probably you got the same exact result as I did. I thought, if I just take him to a personal development seminar, he's going to learn everything that I know. And then our relationship will be magical. I thought that if he changes, our relationship would flourish. Boy, was I wrong. We went to a nine day seminar together and this was a Byron Katie seminar. And I thought, my God, at the end of the seminar, we are going to be so simpatico. Wrong people, I was wrong. Over the nine days, Byron Katie did this incredible thing. She kept asking us one question over and over and over again. Her question was, is it true? Basically, it was a boot camp for truth telling. What I learned at the end of the nine days was what was true is he and I were very incompatible. And so clearly we broke up, but I was extremely devastated because I had never felt that loved in my life. I was so afraid to let it go. But I knew that if I followed my truth, the right thing to do was to let it go. I remember there was a girl who was at this program with us and she saw how I struggled with him. And I, I told her, I said, my life is upside down. And she said something very profound to me. She said, for the very first time in your life, your life is right side up. The truth will always make our life right side up. And if we wanna amplify and fortify our self-confidence, we should tell our truth. So there's a saying that healthy dates healthy. And while he was not a bad person, he was just not the right person for me. And the more healthy I became, the more empowered I became, the larger the gap became. You people who wanna take your partner or spouse to therapy and you think you're gonna fix them, 
recommend something else. I recommend self-mastery for you to take personal responsibility for your well-being and see what is drawing you to this person and situation. What do you need to transform in yourself to create a life that you love? If you want to feel comfortable in your own skin, if you want to feel powerful in your own skin, if you want to feel alive and vibrant and integrated in your own skin, tell your truth and live and speak from the power of your heart. I promise you, your heart will never derail you, but all the voices in your head will constantly derail you. If a magic genie asked you what you really wanted, what would you ask for? First and foremost, remember that self-confidence is a relationship that you have with yourself. What do you want to change about the relationship that you have with yourself? What else do you want in life? Do you want an empowering relationship? Do you want intimacy? Do you want love, connection? Do you want a better relationship? Do you want a better physical body? Do you want to make more money? Do you want to have more fiscal power? Do you want to make a greater contribution to humanity? What do you really want and what stops you from having it now? The only thing that stands between you and what you want is a story that you tell yourself. The time has come to tell yourself a new story. Deepak Chopra has this quote which I'm going to paraphrase. He says, if you have the desire for something, the ability has also been given to you. When do you want to have it all? And are you willing to make a decision today to stand up for yourself and for what you truly want? The other thing to keep in mind, if you want to fortify your self-confidence, is to make sure that you're surrounded by the right people. Now, you may say that you don't have access to the right people, but I promise you, once you start living in a place of authenticity and integrity, all the right people will find you and seek you. And that is a very magical moment. The right people are the people who see greatness in you when you can't. The right people are the people who see the power and the grace and the magic in you even when you can't. The right people are the people who are gonna take a stand for your greatness and not put up with your bullshit. You may not know the right people, but I promise you, if you stay in the zip code of your heart, you will attract the right people. It's like your heart has this magnetic force field that automatically attracts the right people to you. There are two people that I specifically wanna thank who've had a massive impact on my life. One is when I worked in medicine, Dr. Gregory LaTrenta, I want to thank you for what you did for me. You know those people who come and change your life and they don't even know it? Well, Dr. Gregory LaTrenta is one of those human beings. But Dr. LaTrenta was the attending physician in plastic surgery. I had my first rotation in plastic surgery and as we ended our mandatory rotations, we now had the option for four elective rotations. I wanted to do all of my four elective rotations in plastic surgery. And the only way we were allowed to do that is if somebody was willing to sponsor us. I remember I went to Dr. LaTrenta and I said, hey, I really want to do my electives in plastics and I know you have a private practice on Park Avenue and I know I'm just this little girl and I'm just a student and I know that I don't know anything, but I was wondering, and he said, when do you want to start? Dr. LaTrenta, you gave me a chance of a lifetime. Nobody got four months of electives in plastic surgery. I'm so grateful that you afforded me the opportunity. What I'm more grateful for is who you were while I worked in your office. You literally taught me everything. I remember there is one thing that you said to me in the operating room that gave me wings. Don't you love those people who come and just say one little thing and your sky just opens up? Well, Dr. LaTrenta did that for me in the OR. He said to me, I want you to know, there's nothing you can do that I can't fix. That one statement gave me so much self-confidence. It allowed me to relax and it allowed me to excel. The other thing that was magical about Dr. LaTrenta in the operating room is he would never verbally correct me. The way he would correct me during surgery was to move my hands. He would just move my hands to the natural correct position. I want to thank you for being such an incredible teacher, for being such an incredible leader, and for setting me up for 12 years of a success working as a surgical PA in plastic surgery. I also want to thank you for being such a gentleman when I made mistakes. I remember one time I made a mistake with a patient and you quietly asked me to meet you outside of the room, whereas other surgeons would literally throw instruments and yell and scream. 
I walked out outside of the room and you quietly told me my mistake. Thank you for making a massive difference in my life. The second person I really, really want to thank is Jeff Rothstein, who was a manager at Douglas Element Real Estate. Jeff, I always tell you that you built me. I always tell you that you made the biggest difference in my life and you always laugh it off. In 2012, I gave a seminar in a hotel and a woman by the name of Lisa Monroy, who I'm giving a shout out to, came to my seminar. Lisa then invited other people from Douglas Elliman to come to my seminar and they did. I wanna thank Lisa Monroy, I wanna thank Karen Berman and I wanna thank Jordan Hawk for taking a stand for me and hundreds of people thereafter who've endorsed me. My entire business is word of mouth. Thank you for being the foundational people who had faith in me. Lisa, you really pushed hard for Jeff to bring me into your office. And Jeff tells a story of, who is this girl? I've never heard of her. She can't come here. Mr. Jeff Rothstein, I would never be where I am without you. Thank you so much for bringing me into the world of New York real estate. Literally from the moment I walked in, you started to bat for me. Not only did I speak at your office, but you literally told me, I'm going to come to your apartment and pick you up and take to Brooklyn and you're going to speak there. And then all these other real estate houses came looking for me. Who knew? I wanna thank the, the following companies, Douglas Elliman, Halstead, Brown Harris Stevens, Corcoran, Compass, Terra Holdings, Town, Triple Mint, Rachel Realty, Barbara Fox Realty, and the Real Estate Board of New York. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to come and share my passion with you. Thank you for countless magical referrals that you have sent my way. Thank you for allowing me to come into your office and to be a part of your culture and part of your growth. I'm forever grateful. These are all the people who made me believe that following my heart was the right thing to do. Remember, Self-confidence is based on us being willing to tell our truth and stand in our truth. When I left the medical practice, I had no reason to believe that this coaching thing could ever work, but it did. It did because there were many, 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 many countless people who supported me throughout the years. When you do the right thing and you come from the right place, the right people will come and they will bat for you and they will amaze you. Always remember that self-confidence equals truth confidence. Have confidence in what is in your heart. Have confidence in the little voice inside of you that's telling you which way to go. Even if you don't believe, even if you can't see the way, even if you feel alone, I promise you, the right people will come and the right people will bat for you. The best is yet to come. Thank you. I'm Vivacha Max Victor.